Good evening, honored guests, teachers, family, friends, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. I never would have imagined that March 13th would be our last day together as Crusaders. This year has definitely not been the graduating year any of us could have imagined. But it was definitely made us more grateful for the time we did get to spend together. No student gets the chance to choose the world in which they graduate, but if you could, let's be honest here, you probably wouldn't have chosen the year 2020. Despite all the trials and troubles of 2020, my message to you today is not about fear, disappointment, anger, or resentment, although all of these feelings are certainly warranted given the circumstances. My message is instead of hope. My name is Jenna Goldsack, and I am honored and humbled to have been selected as this year's valedictorian. The class of 2020 is unlike any other graduating class in recent memory. We are the class that finished high school in the middle of a global pandemic. Now that's memorable. Instead of celebrating our graduation together with our family, friends, teachers, and classmates, we are celebrating remotely while sitting around computer or phone screens. Instead of caps and gowns, some of you may have opted to wear something more comfortable, maybe even your pajamas. Everything looks and feels very different this year. We are waiting in uncharted territory and doing things like they have never been done before. That makes us all very special and unique. In addressing the class of 2020 in June, Prime Minister Trudeau said, very few graduating classes in recent memory will face a challenge of this magnitude. The choices you make will decide the future of our country and our world. I cannot think of a generation more prepared to put us on the right path forward. Regardless of your political views, you must admit that it is unique occurrence to have the Prime Minister of Canada, along with countless other political leaders, dignitaries and celebrities, address a graduating class. They all recognize the potential for the graduates of 2020 to be the leaders and change makers of tomorrow. I'm confident that we can take the lessons we have learned over the past four years and the strength we have gained through challenge and adversity to make a positive impact on our communities and our world. Instead of focusing on the challenges of the past few months, I am going to rewind a little. I want to recall some of the memories and stories that truly define our time at Catholic Central High School because we are so much more than virtual students. I am very proud to have attended the best school in the city, even if I'm a little biased. No matter what you are interested in, CCH had something for you to enjoy. For some of you, this involved our incredible arts programs, including our award-winning music and string programs, dance, drama, and visual arts. Perhaps you were part of one of our amazing school productions or got involved in sports and athletics as a proud member of a Crusader team or club. Some of you even had the privilege and honor of representing the Crusader Blue at WASA or even OFSA events. Maybe you weren't participating in sports, but many of you shared your blue and white spirit and pride in the bleachers and on the sidelines, cheering your Crusaders on to victory. Some of you discovered new talents and interests through participation in a wide variety of extracurricular clubs and activities such as cooking, debate, technology, poetry, or improv. On top of all of this, many of you had the opportunity to specialize in an area of interest through our extensive list of specialty programs including MEX, IB, EOP, ESL, LEAP, Hospitality and Tourism SHSM and the small but mighty NPLP. There will be a test later to see if you know what these acronyms stand for. There is truly something for everyone. Getting involved in the life of the school outside the classroom is such an important part of the high school experience. I want to take this opportunity to thank all the coaches, club advisors and lead teachers that often gave up hours of their own time to make it possible for us to participate in specialty programs and extracurricular activities. One of the things that makes CCH so special is our tremendous school spirit. We have witnessed the spirit at pep rallies and sporting events like our Golden Puck hockey games, 
United Way football matches, and United in Sport events. We are especially spirited when we play our rivals from STA. We see the same spirit when we cheer on classmates and friends during concerts, theatrical productions, and award assemblies. Crusader pride is evident in Christmas and final assemblies, at the Rodneys, and of course, when we celebrate our diversity and culture during the annual Multicultural Day Festival. I hope you will continue to feel the same sense of pride as the newest Catholic Central High School alumni. Once a crusader, always a crusader. As graduates of the Catholic education system, we have learned far more than knowledge, skills, and the lessons that come from blackboards and textbooks. We also take away with us the attitudes, values, and morals needed to make a difference in the world around us. Crusaders, you have consistently demonstrated your fulfillment of the Catholic graduate expectations as caring family members and responsible citizens who give witness to Catholic social teaching. Our annual food and coat drives, Lenten campaigns, the Miracle Movement, Ovarian Run, and social justice initiatives, like our inaugural Ideal Way giveaway, are all examples of how we have been able to serve others and give back to our community in caring and compassionate ways. There are so many things that I will miss about CCH, and some of these things I didn't even know I would miss until they abruptly ended on March 13th. I will miss our social gatherings in the music room, early morning choir practices, after school sports practices, and of course, Mr. Lammer's favorite closing phrase, Crusaders, woo! It is unfortunate that we didn't get the chance to say proper goodbyes when social distancing and scheduled retrieval times meant that we had to spend our last day at CCH in a lineup with no time for conversation, reminiscing with the staff, or hugs from our friends and relatives. Although weeks of emergency remote learning may have had its advantages, like sleeping in, flexibility, loose deadlines, and no exams or uniforms, I know that many of us just miss coming to school every day to learn and interact with others. CCH was, and always will be, our home away from home. Now none of these things would have been possible without the help of our wonderful staff at CCH. Thank you to our amazing office staff who always greeted us with a smile and who sometimes had to put up with my random laughing during morning announcements. Thank you also to our hardworking custodial team who worked tirelessly to keep our school safe and tidy and to our extensive team of support staff that worked collaboratively to ensure our success in school and in life including our dedica dedicated educational assistants, our librarian, social worker, and our guidance and student success staff. Thank you to our chaplaincy leader, Mrs. Bell, Father Mockler, and all the parish staff at St. Peter's. You are, have truly allowed us to grow our faith in such a deep way over the past four years at CCH. To our amazing administration, past and present, Mr. Lamaru, Mr. Sheardown, Mrs. Goss, and Ms. Trinabono. Thank you for all you have done for us. You have truly shown us what leadership and teamwork looks like. It was always evident that you took great pride in your job and in our school. It is not an easy job dealing with energetic and somewhat rebellious teenagers, but you always acted and reacted in fair and respectful ways. I also want to thank all the teachers who have shaped us into the mature, responsible young people we are today. You have encouraged, supported, and taught us many lessons that go far beyond the classroom walls. We have learned what it means to give of ourselves so fully and to share our gifts and talents with others. As Malala once said, let us remember, one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world. My final thank you goes out to parents and guardians who have been our biggest supporters since the beginning of our educational journeys. Thank you for being our editors, videographers, event planners, chauffeurs, coaches, and cheerleaders. Thank you for doing the best you can to teach us when we are run into difficulty with our online learning. Thank you for being there with us to celebrate our successes and for giving us a shoulder to cry on when times were tough. Thanks for all you did to create memories for us when COVID-19 tried to steal them away. Whether it was putting up lawn signs, taking prom pictures, at-home graduation celebrations, or drive-by birthday parades. I want to especially thank my dad, who gave me the experience of the classic promposal 
and became my date for dad and daughter prom. Thank you for helping me create memories that I will cherish forever. Please take a few seconds to show your love and appreciation for those celebrating virtually with you at home. Graduates, I know how hard it was for many of us to have our high school career end so abruptly. Someday when you have your own families, you may not be able to pull out your senior prom picture or the picture of you walking across the stage to receive your diploma. But you will be able to share what living through a pandemic was like and be better able to share your strength and wisdom with the next generation facing their own challenges and difficulties. As Mr. Lamoureux always says, we are 250 matchsticks that can't be broken no matter what is thrown our way. The friendships and memories we have made at CCH over the past four years are indestructible. No virus will change that. Class of 2020, you may not have a perfect vision of the future, but with your leadership and determination, I know we can change the world for the better. I want to end my address with some words of wisdom from an inspirational woman who lived a life of charity and service for others, Mother Teresa. People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Finally, in a year that has had many unique and untraditional ways of celebrating, I have decided to end in my own unconventional way with a song and a prayer. This is an Irish blessing that we would always sing at our final vocal concert of the year. And since we didn't get the chance to do it this year, I'm going to share it with you now. Please feel free to sing along at home if you know the words. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields till we meet again. We meet again. May God hold you. Congratulations, class of 2020, and God bless. And for one last time, Mr. Lammer, you can help me out. Crusaders, woo!